We are the catchers of light. We explore quiet places. Searching for pockets of time and space where we can awaken our souls to the deepest reality. Unlike other forms of art, photography does not have the ability to leave blank spaces. A musician can choose not to play a note, and a painter can leave parts of their canvas empty, but a photographer must fill up every edge of their frame. As humans, we're always filling up the frames of our minds. We do not have the option to leave any blank spaces. Our attention is always fixed somewhere. This is beyond our control. But we do have the ability to choose where our focus will rest and whose attention we will seek. When we open our eyes to God alone, we become flooded with true light and love. If your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light, no matter how dark your surroundings may be. The eyes are the lamp of the body and the window to the soul. Like a lamp, they admit light out. And like a window, they permit light in. Once we have come in contact with the God of light, we become radiant and desire to share his warmth with others. Do not hide your light under a shade but let it shine before others. We are formed by the things we set our eyes on and by those who set their eyes on us. This is why to be deeply seen by another is always a risk. It involves trust, vulnerability, and faith. Sometimes, we can see the first glowing rays in another person before they can see it in themselves. Our service is to reveal and nurture the light in them. Our eyes become an open door that lead back to the eyes of God himself. Letting them know that to be seen on the deepest level, we must let go and let the light in. More than making someone look good on camera, we invite them into the goodness of God that is waiting for them off camera. Because the direction of our vision determines our destiny. So let go, let the light in, and let it out. Tim, would you step out for a wide if you got a second?